Special Master in Mar-a-Lago case appears skeptical of Trump's declassification claims. The special master appointed to review documents federal agencies at former President Donald Trump's Florida estates appeared doubtfully Tuesday about Trump's contention that he had declassified the various top secrets and other highly sensitive documents found there. The special master, senior U.S. District Judge Raymond J. Deary of New York, he asked Trump's attorney for more information about which or the over 10 sensitive documents federal agents found at his Mar-a-Lago estate in Palm Beach might have been declassified. Trump attorney had told the judge in a letter Monday night that they didn't want to disclose information yet because it could force them to prematurely disclose a defense to the merits of any subsequent indictment. At a hearing in federal court in Brooklyn, Deary's note that the case is a civil dispute, not a criminal one, but said he was taking the government's concern about national security seriously. Let's not belittle the fact that we are dealing with at least potentially legitimately classified information. The government has a very strong obligation, as do all of us, to see to it that the information doesn't get it in the wrong hands, said Deries, a former judge on the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Courts, whom President Ronald Reagan appointed to the New York Federal Court. While Trump's filling claim, neither side had provided a showing that the documents are classified. Deary said the government had presented a prima facie evidence that the documents are because they bear classification markings. As far as I'm concerned, that's the end of it, Deary said. At least Trump's team has some evidence to the contraries. Trump has claimed on social media that he declassified all the records he had but his lawyer have yet to formally make the argument in any sworn court filling. Trump's attorney James Trusty maintained that we should not be in a position to have to disclose declaration and witness statement about the classification issue. Deary suggested they're not doing so could be problematic for their case. My view is you can't have your cake and eat it, Deary said. Justice Department lawyer Julia Adelstein noted that some of the documents are so sensitive that even members of the team that is investigating possible offense here have not yet been provided with clearance to see these documents. She said that while trustee has top secret clearance, even that would not be sufficient to see a number of documents at issue in this case. Trustee called the eldest Stein's argument kind of a stout sting. It's kind of an amazing juncture to be dismissive of even one attorney having access to the document that formed the justification for their raid, he said. Deary told Trump's lawyer, it is a matter of need to know, and if you need to know, you will know. He also suggested he will try to avoid reviewing some of the most sensitive documents and that he could keep Trump's lawyer from seeing them too. I don't want to see the materials. It's presumably sensitive materials, he said, adding that if he can make it his recommendation to the judge who asked him for them without exposing myself or to you to that materials, I will do it. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.